Brilliant. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, the problem is the reality of the situation is if you take your emotions away, we have not done enough and we will fumble it the same way we fumbled it last season because we are. Okay, so then why are you angry? Let me finish what I'm saying, bro. Let me finish. Every time I speak, you want to speak over me. Let me finish. Bro. <laughs> yeah, that's my job. The problem is, yeah, the problem is this. We, you're talking about, oh, where's the standards? You're the one that your mouth, this stream said, oh, mm -hmm. if he doesn't win the league, you got a super chat asking you. If we don't win the league, would you sack the manager? No. That is a standard I don't like. You know what the oh, other standard oh, I don't like? Oh, 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 finish. Pass. Welcome to the present. How are we doing? What's an introduction, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. This is very interesting. Before we continue this conversation, guys, do me that kind of favor. Please like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and make sure you turn on your notification bell one more time. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and do not forget to turn on your notification bell. If you want to see the full clip, go to Never I Foul, their YouTube channel is right there. Make sure you, you, you subscribe to them if you like their content. Uh, that's where I got the video from. So if you want to watch the full uh, clip and enjoy the context of what the, what the debate go to never fall and make sure you enjoy the content right there. Sacking a setter because he hasn't won the league is is just preposterous. This bad faith argument that has been pushed by the anti setter people is crazy. So let, let, let's continue so far. I've, let me not just spoil the the, 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 the whole thing before I put in my, my own two cents. Let's continue to enjoy what Northside was saying. Bro, have I finished, bro? Let me finish, bro. This whole No, but I'm going to correct you if you're wrong. Right, Every time I talk, you want to talk, you want to talk, you want to talk. Let me finish, bro, because I'll keep talking. Go ahead. At the end of the day, yeah, you want to sit there and act like we haven't done this before. We've gone with not uh, not uh, replacing a Bamiyan. Yeah, we had Jesus, that ain't a gunman. We didn't win the league. Pause, then we pause. Let, let, let's pause the right man. there. Let's the pause that. We... What do you mean we didn't replace Aubameyang? Yes, Jesus is not playing. He's not scoring goals like Aubameyang. But the, the, the last one year or two years of Aubameyang, he won the same thing. And what did we win with Aubameyang? Just an FA Cup. Just the FA Cup, rather. Just the FA Cup. Let's not act like if we won the league or could have won the league with Aubameyang. See, see this disingenuous, bad faith conversation misrepresents the fact. It's crazy. Aubameyang scores a lot of goals for us, but was he good enough to win the league? Absolutely no. Jesus is a better striker than Aubameyang. Now, let me better striker. What he offers the team. Boink. But in terms of goals, he's more than scored goals like Aubameyang, but he's a better all-around player in our front for, for, for the team. We saw the, 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 the subordination of Aubameyang and the fact that he fell off the cliff after he renewed his contract. So let's not pretend and change the narrative and represent and sit in it like Aubameyang was more than what he was. We never won title. We couldn't have won any title with Aubameyang. Yeah, we didn't win the FA Cup, yes. But the Premier League, there was no chance. So let's not act like, like Aubameyang was a saviour. Let's continue. We gave Nketi a new contract. Didn't mm -hmm. win the league. Then we didn't go and strengthen the bench the way we need to. Didn't win the league. Then we started getting players that can do a job like Lokonga and Nuntavaj and Reese That's Nelson and all these other players, it giving them new contracts or bringing them into this club. Still didn't win the league. We've gone for about three or four flipping left backs. How many flipping, how many, how many, we've got Kibbe, we're looking like we've won it That's in the How many goalkeepers have we gone through that are doing, talking about, uh, talking about Lokonga, uh, talking about Savarez, that is not part of the conversation. Those are squad players. Those are not key players. That is not why we haven't won the league. The reason why we won the league because our squad, yes, objectively have not been good enough because we have to invest rightly, buy the right player, and to buy the right player sometimes you can't get certain players. Like even Man City, what, what did Man City do regarding replacing Alvarez? You can't just go there and just pay for average players to replace Alvarez because it's hard to replace certain players. And so, see, no club gets the, 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 the transfer shopping 100%. You get some, some, some good ones, you get some duds. But the, 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 the goal is to make sure you get more good signings, more signings that work out for your club than the one that doesn't work. Nobody can get it perfectly 100%. So, throwing Bruno Tavares, sorry, Bruno Tavares, throwing Lokonga is just distraction. Let's focus on the fact that you are trying to malign the fact that because Ateta has not won the league, even though he has compared twice, he's not good enough to sack him. That is ridiculous. Extremely ridiculous to, to consider sacking a teta. It's like saying because you didn't, you're not first, 
in your class. That means you're not good enough. That is crazy. That, that is crazy. All of us cannot be number one. Coming second is a fantastic achievement. Yes, coming second. Yes, I said so. Two points, Ben Massey. Two points. It was 10 points, 15 points. Yeah, we can argue. Two points behind Manchester City. You should sack Ateta. It's not good enough. Let's rip off the project and restart again. You are insane. Of the teams saying that they're the guy. Did we win the league? No. You're the one, yeah? And this, these are the people that I call out because you sit there and you go, oh no, but our defence. You guys were talking about our defence all last season, about we got the best defence last season. Did we get over the line? No. So how about if it doesn't it, work? It, let, let, let's correct that. Pause, let's correct that. Even though we had the best defence objectively, even though we still had a lot of problems, not getting over the line doesn't mean you have to discredit what it, what we did. See, this, 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 this is a crazy argument. That This is crazy. Just because we didn't get over the line doesn't mean we are horrible. Two points, not 10 points, not 20 points. After I've size up, two damn points makes our team horrible. Are you mad? How, how, how does someone have the audacity to make this argument? It's a shameless, shameless of the internet. Doing something wrong. We need a striker that's going to back those goals. We need a number 10 that when Odegaard goes hiding, like Brighton, like we Ooh. saw last season, Ooh. is going to turn wait, up. Wait, You're wait, talking wait. about... Let, let me, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's go need there, a number 10 that when Odegaard goes hiding, like Brighton, like we saw last season, is going to turn up. You're talking about... So Odegaard goes hiding. See, this is, see, see, this is what you guys listen to. Show me, even when Henry was at Arsenal, did Henry actually was was scoring? Henry did not score in every game. De Bruyne is not the man of the match every game. Haaland doesn't score, even though he scored a lot of goals. Doesn't score every game. So a few games that all the guy against Brighton was kicked. You can you can, you can see it was grimacing. You can tell that all the guy was kind of a bit of an injury. He goes hiding. All the guy goes hiding. All the guy was actually in the squad of the of the PFA. Uh, players of, of of the season last season, Odega goes hiding. This is crazy. Just because he wants to to make a point that is disingenuous, and you know some of you will fall for it and lap it up because of the energy is showing, the aggression is showing. No, come on, man, come on. Odega goes hiding. This oh, is hard work. But didn't you see this game? That game. You know what games matter. You see Bayern Munich. I watched that Bayern Munich when you man were saying, oh, Champions League ain't the same anymore. Oh, watched the Bayern Munich. So even though Bayern Munich were not the same thing, it doesn't mean on a, on its day, Bayern cannot give you a good game. See, this is the, this is the crazy logic this will push. We know... Let me give you an example. We know Brighton, if Brighton plays against, against Man City 10 times, Man City should be beating Brighton Every single day, every single time. But guess what? There can be a there will there be a particular match on a, on, a, on a good day. Brighton will take Manchester City apart. We saw it with Aston Villa last season. Just because Aston Villa beat Man City at the Villa Park doesn't mean guaranteed this season going to repeat that. On its day, any team can beat any team. We all know that. So making it seem as if because Bayern were struggling last season, they can have a good game in between. It's crazy and it's criminal. This is this is this is crazy. This is what this argument is like. It, it's just disturbing. It's very disturbing. And these are the kind of people a lot of you consume. You consume this toxicity, this negativity, this around nonsense, blatant nonsense, which is sack Ateta just because you've not won the league. Do you know how crazy that is? Even though we come extremely close and we already breached the gap. Do you think smart people making make decisions based on impulses and emotionality that he's showing right there? There's a reason why he is right, just a content creator with no sense, and the decision makers will never think like that. There's signs, more than signs of progress on how the team is progressing, but he thinks because we missed out. I actually, he actually can't like that we missed out marginally, meaning still emphasizing is that's not good enough, even though we missed out marginally. This is crazy. I can't, I can't do this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. People are shaking ahead. What do you guys think? Should I start a tester?
because he hasn't won a league twice, even though he has completed twice. Fierce league is not good enough. If you should sack him, let me know in the comment section. Feel free. Feel free because it's like a lot of you enjoy that kind of content. A lot of you agree. With, uh, see, I know some of you agree with him. Let me know why you think uh, you agree with him. Sack attention sack because we might not missed our last season. Let's report the project and start all over again because of your ego. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like the video on your way out. Very important. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new here and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Very important. And I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>